what's up guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going to talk about hurricane larry soon to be major hurricane larry that would be the second in less than two weeks it's that time of year end of august early september we almost always see large hurricanes especially out here in the main development region this one here snuck between two large sand plumes it will soon be a major hurricane probably in less than 24 hours i'm going to apply the dry feature here there's the sand. That's the Sahara sand. It found an opening, and it took full advantage of it. This is supposed to be a major hurricane, once again, in less than 24 hours. And that's how that storm got going. It found an opening between those two sand plumes and took full advantage of it. There's a storm on the west coast of Africa. You can see right there at the end of that radar loop. It's forecasted to maybe be a tropical storm, but that sand plume right there is more than likely going to extinguish that storm before it even gets started. Larry's a different story. This is going to be a strong storm that's going to create some incredible waves. Now, I'm going to try and track these waves over here the best I can at the National Data Buoy Center, but there's only one buoy right now in the cone of this storm, and we need to be on the right-hand side of the storm where these waves are going to be the strongest for the longest, and I'm talking several hours on end. Some of these waves are going to be higher than a five-story building consistently for hours on end. I went over here to marinetraffic.com and I was looking at the ships that are currently moving around the earth right now as I do this video and, and you can see it kind of looks overwhelming on the map. That's a lot of cargo moving around. Not necessarily people. There aren't too many cruise ships out here like there normally are. This blue one here you see is a passenger vessel. The green ones and the red ones are tankers and cargo vessels. But the ones in the path of this storm are definitely going to have to move and I'm going to show you why. Here's how it's going to unfold or at least it's supposed to unfold. There is a tropical depression trying to form down here in the in the Yucatan in the southern Gulf of Mexico. That's where it's going to be on Wednesday the 8th off the southeastern tip of New Orleans. More than likely it's not going to be anything other than a collection of rain. However, when this thing makes landfall, it looks like it's going to be influenced by Hurricane Larry. See how it went across the Florida Panhandle then out into the Atlantic Ocean like it's following Larry up the Atlantic Ocean. See that? There it goes again. There's the storm going across Florida, and then it strengthens out there in the Atlantic Ocean. And you can see the path of Larry catching Bermuda in the left-hand side of the storm, just like it did Homa. Well, some of the waves associated with this storm are in the 40, 50, and in some cases, close to 60 feet. Just unbelievable. We're looking at Thursday, 8 a.m. You can see a consistent wave pattern of 50, 51, 51.2, 50.6, 46, 52. Watch this. We're going to step it ahead three hours. And again, this is on Thursday. This is going to continue for at least a day, maybe two days. 49, 53, 54. We're going to step it ahead till 2 p.m. 54, 53. They're getting stronger as we move through the day. 54, 6, 54, 8. We're going to go to 5 p.m. Watch this. 55, 8. 56.1, getting close to the 57 range. We're going to go up to 8 p.m. Again, this is on Thursday. There you go, 57.3 feet. This is over here at VentureSky.com. These are the forecasted waves associated with this storm, and those are headed right towards Bermuda, or at least right now, the model is showing just maybe to the right, but it looks like Bermuda is going to end up in that cone. And if it does, it could be tangling with 40 and, and 50 foot waves. And some of these ships that are in the path of this storm are definitely going to have to move. Here's a cargo vessel here. Doesn't appear to have a lot of passengers on it. This blue one is a passenger vessel. Don't know what kind. All of these shipping vessels are going to have to move very soon. They cannot tangle with 50 foot waves. I mean, those are are like rogue waves that you hear about that go over these ships and and these could capsize smaller boats i don't know how these bigger boats would handle 56 foot waves but i don't think they'd like them too much i know a smaller boat there's no way a smaller boat can handle a 56 foot wave and this is supposed to go on for hours as this thing moves north through the atlantic ocean so all of these ships i would think will be cleared out by the time this thing becomes a major hurricane here in less than 24 hours and it's supposed to remain a major hurricane for the next five days i mean this thing is unbelievable and again some of the models not all show this thing moving a little bit to the left not much 
And this is one of the models that right now, and again, this is a five-day forecast, it will change some. Right now, it's got Bermuda right on the edge of that very large center of rotation that's supposed to be, by the end, a major hurricane of some capacity. Whether it's a Cat 4, Cat 5 remains to be seen. So we could see here in the coming days waves close to 60 feet tall persisting for hours on end associated with this very large storm that's moving through the central Atlantic right now as I do this video. Also in this video, I've got a brand new picture slideshow, new sky phenomenon photos, so they from all around the world. Photo here by Maria P. out of Tucson, Arizona. Looks like we've got layer after layer after layer of shelf clouds. Cindy P. out of Michigan. Some incredible lightning above Michigan here the other day. Massive photogenic cloud here by Sarah out of Salida. Colorado. That thing took up the entire horizon. D. Marie out of Fort Lauderdale, Florida. That's some of that Sahara sand just from a couple of days ago. Amy C. out of San Antonio, Texas. Big rain shaft. Kind of a light orange rain shaft over San Antonio, Texas the other day. Lincoln, Nebraska. Photo here of the sunset sent in by Maria C. out of Lincoln. Influenced by the wildfire smoke from back two or three days ago. Paul out of Sedona, Arizona. Big mothership looking cloud. Park above Sedona, Arizona. CNN out of Louisiana. This is what the sky looked like. A sunset right before Ida made landfall. Photos here sent in by William out of Nevada. Here's some of that wildfire smoke that's influencing these sunsets. Horizontal lines of wildfire smoke above Nevada. Double decker rainbow here taken by Zoe. Sent in by Chris above Milford, New Jersey. Good job, Zoe. Keep the photos coming. Kelly R. out of Altoona, Pennsylvania. Fiery orange sky above Altoona. Great job, guys. Keep the photos coming. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.